Hey guys, so last night I talked all about the PlayStation VR 2. Now tonight I'm going to be talking about quite a few new releases that HTC is going to be bringing us very soon in the form of new headsets. First things first, back when the HTC Vive Cosmos launched a few months back, one of the biggest reasons to get it was the customizability of it. And that you were able to change out the faceplate over time to get better upgrades and improve the system depending on what HTC was able to produce. Now a couple of those improvements have in fact been debuted. And they include the Vive Cosmos Play, the faceplate for the Vive Cosmos, the Cosmos Elite, and the Cosmos XR. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the Cosmos Play in addition to having the modifiable and interchangeable faceplate, that one is intended to be more of an entry level into VR and intended also for casual virtual reality experiences. This system, which is going to come with the base headset, the faceplate, and the controllers, that is going to run you $500 although a release date has not yet been released, or announced in, it in any way. Next, we have the faceplate itself for the base Cosmos. That one is going to be available as a separate accessory at some point between the beginning of April and the end of June for just $200, and able to be attached to any of the other Cosmos models available. Next up, we have the Vive Cosmos Elite. While the faceplate itself is going to run you $200, this one uses slightly different tracking than the Play and the Cosmos. And that it uses Steam VR tracking and the Cosmos wands rather than the Cosmos controllers that you may be used to using up until this point. This one is not only intended to be more of a, a high end system, but more accurate as it uses the Steam VR tracking. Like I said though, that one is going to run you $200 for the faceplate itself, and both of those, the both the faceplate as well as the entire set, system, controllers, base stations, everything, that is going to run you $900, and available before the end of March. Not just that, but pre-orders are going to start next week on the 24th. Finally, we have the Cosmos XR. This one is intended for developer systems and has a pass-through developer kit made for augmented reality. <coughs> uses inside-out tracking, uses the, the four base cameras that you're used to seeing on the, on the Cosmos, in addition to two high-quality pass-through cameras directed to, that you can find directly underneath the two main cameras. And it also uses the Cosmos controllers. So depending on when that actually gets announced completely, then we'll actually be able to try that out. However, like I said, no pricing information has been released yet. However, the company does promise to share more at the GDC next month. So, hopefully, we end up learning something around that time. As if that wasn't enough, HTC has brought forward computer renderings of Project Proton. Uh, so far, there hasn't been any news on whether or not there's actually a functional prototype at this point, but they are currently working on a standalone virtual reality headset capable of being tethered to a smartphone. As I said, no concrete information is set forward at this point. However, because it is not only a standalone, but also expected to be able to tether to smartphones, the most obvious competitors in those realms would be the Oculus Quest, in whatever form it may be, around launch of this system, as well as not only the 
Apple eyeglass, but also the Enreal glasses. That both of them are going to be capable of tethering to smartphones and having those power the headsets themselves. In all three cases, smartphones would be powering the headsets. So hopefully, what when everything in the dust settles, we'll know a little bit more, something concrete, something a little bit more tangible than just a computer rendering of this system. And if you guys want to support me, blah, blah, Facebook, blah, blah, YouTube, yada, yada. And if you guys want to support something a little bit bigger than me or YouTube or something a little bit more meaningful, you can do so by heading over to HumbleBundle.com. Personally, I picked up a, a very nice VR bundle earlier. Only ran me like 20 bucks. And honestly, not only was that a steal, but I was able to, to support the Call of Duty endowment, which, strangely enough, actually exists. But they support quite a few different charities throughout the months. Uh, one of them that you might be able to recognize would be the World Wildlife Foundation as well as UNICEF. Those are just a couple of the many, many charities that they support and that you support just by buying those bundles from them. That link you can find in the description down below. And I'd just like to point out that no, they're not sponsoring me in any way. I just think it's really cool what they're doing. Because uh, it, it's, it's the closest, it's the best win-win scenario you're ever going to find. Well,